Hello MaxTubers, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be watching a video of P-pop sensation SB19's Korean TV interview. A lot of my dear MaxTubers out there are asking me to watch this for me to get to know the boys even better. But before we begin, I'm inviting everyone to please follow me on Instagram at Max underscore two. At the same time, please don't forget to hit subscribe, the notification bell, watch and comment on my videos here in Max Two. So I am literally going to watch this video for the very first time. So hope you guys bear with me, okay? Let's start. So today we have SB19, a Filipino idol who has a very special and unprecedented background because they have been receiving hardcore Korean style idol training under a Korean management agency. So nice to meet you guys and thank, thank you for your time today. So can you say hi to our viewers? Get in the zone, break, high BR, SB19. Uh, hello, wow. everyone. I'm the most charismatic member of SB19. My name is Josh. I am the leader of SB19. My name is Sejin. Uh, I'm SB19's heavenly voice. My name is Tel. Nice to meet y'all. Hello, everyone. I'm the main dancer of SB19. My name is Ken. I'm the youngest member of SB19. My name is Justin. So, you guys are getting popular and popular these days. Can you feel that? That popularity? <laughs> How many years ago was this? A lot of things I mean, this interview. Before. Um, Comment down say, below. Uh, we could ride jeepneys and buses, but like right now, we couldn't even uh, get to like ride a jeepney and buses like a normal, normal person without uh, anyone recognizing our, our team. So when did that? When did this begin? Like this popularity? I think uh, from what I know, uh, September two. It was when we uploaded our dance practice video, and then overnight, uh, someone posted it on Twitter, and then. Um, a lot of people notice our group that uh, oh, the, these guys are great, uh, uh, they're okay. really synchronized and whatnot. So uh, we are re we didn't really expect anything at first, but we were so overwhelmed. To so they were first recognized because, uh, because of that really dance practice. We're, we're so happy and thankful to everyone. Tell me about the activities that you're doing these days. You're getting busier and busier, right? Actually, after we got viral, or after we got. What, what do you call this? Wow, yeah, so many fans! Uh, we are getting lots of TV guestings. We've been getting lots of attention in the Philippines nowadays. We're planning to uh, have 10 concerts, 10 concerts for 10 different cities in the Philippines nationwide. And it's gonna be the first time that it's going to be for free. Yes, and we're, we're really My question is, were they able really to do all of these 10 concerts? Uh, because I don't know which year they did this I interview. I saw your music video. I was very impressed. You guys are so good at dancing, right? So the practice, the training must have been really tough, right? Tell me about that. About the training, actually, um, before we release our song, Go Up, uh, we make sure that everything was perfect. And we practiced our song 1,000 times what? before we, we release the song and the 1,000 times? We want to show everyone that practice will never betray you. Uh, that paper, uh, every day we practice uh, 30 times sing and dance, sing and dance go up okay. and then we will put stamp every time we do runs. <laughs> like in kindergarten. Then, um, we will show it to our teacher. So cute. She will, well done. Well done. Every day, every day. <laughs> Wow. So I heard that there were more members yeah. at the beginning, and the five of you debuted. Tell me about the other um, members who left. Training for three to four years is really hard here in the Philippines without earning something. So no money. Here in the Philippines, uh, family is really important. You have to like give back to them the responsibility to uh, to help them. With so they didn't the even get allowances. So maybe, okay, wait. Why is there a girl? The turning point where. They decided uh, I couldn't do this for this long, so. So you guys receive a lot of comments from your fans that you guys are really talented. Yeah, because if you're not getting any money, how can you support your families, right? The difference between Filipino boy groups and you guys. A huge sacrifice. We are really better than them because we respect them as well. I mean. Oh, that's very humble of them. Yeah, actually, we look up to 
uh, many artists in the in the Philippines as well. So we don't we don't want to consider us as better group, but all of us have different types of talents or you know a uh, unique style of how it would appeal to people. What is Filipino style? There's we call a uh, hugot. It means like uh, we're trying to get from our deep deep feeling. We, we're trying to express our deep deep feelings. Heartbreak songs. Love experiences mm -hmm. and something like that. Yeah. Filipinos usually like Filipinos love that. Uh, thing, like, Especially sad. if we're sad. Specifically sad songs. We listen to sad songs all the time to make us feel um, even more miserable. It's funny. <laughs> it's called Go Up. There came this point that uh, we, we, ha we almost gave up. Yeah. Almost <sighs> separated. And then we talk like, uh, maybe this is our last shot. This is going to be our last shot. And uh, like we, we talk to each other. Let's get everything here. Let's pour everything here. So good thing they didn't make a song about the story of SB19. It's about reaching your dreams and your hardships and everything. That no matter what happens, like if you set your heart and your mind into and that's the go up song. Life, you will be able to achieve it and you will be successful. And in time, everything will yeah <laughs> will happen. Then speaking of that, tell me more about your hardships. Like why did you guys? try to split up what we're trying to do is a new thing here and uh anyone actually here in the philippines uh, performing is not a practical way of l a living other trainings that we had before they couldn't handle the stress they couldn't handle everything and especially physically oh yeah if you have to like rehearse a thousand times well. so we we are not sure about this path. Uh, it's like we have this uh, saying in the Philippines, uh, "Suntok sabuan." It's like an impossible way of trying to uh, reach impossible your dream. dream. So we just tried our best and tried the luck, and we just believed in ourselves. <laughs> so, do you think you guys are getting closer to your dream now? Yeah, we're starting yeah. now. We're starting. We are starting. We're still far for for from our dreams, uh, but we are slowly getting there yeah. yeah so i want to see slowly but surely show us oh like do you guys all have talents right yeah. okay. Let, let's start from the youngest yeah okay. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't even have to We till the sun hides Cause the brightest stars are the ones Oh yeah, so he raps, really raps dies. With a pile look up to the sky We put my knees in the ground I keep on asking why oh. Next That's is that. our That's main that. dancer Main dancer Me. Let's go Whoa Yay. I wanted to learn that as a child I never did <laughs> Why didn't he sing? We want to show the uh, our ballad song oh. Our debut song One. Two. Oh yes. Look at her face. It's like she's so surprised. This is Tila Luha, right? Yes. Oh, you're a great singer. Oh, I almost so cried. Oh, oh, <laughs> thank you so much. love, right? Yeah. Wow. Thank you so much. Oh, you deserve more attention. Thank you so much. Actually, for for the record, uh, <laughs> he wrote the lyrics. We yeah. help oh, we, we help each other. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah. That's so, you guys so cool. Write the song. Write, write song. Sing, choreograph the song. Oh. So, uh, all of our songs we write and choreograph. Wow. Yeah. So, uh, I always watch this show in Korea called Show Me The Money. I love that show. show me no money. idea what it and, is. Uh, I have this dream of uh, like joining the competition, so I try to write a rap verse in Korean and English. What's up, non Filipina? So, what's up? I came here and then I saw all that's left to conquer. Woo! No banjagi, no mokori, no got be son accessory. Ain't got no fancy jewelry and living a life of luxury. But from the southwest to this, I flew a from and took the risk. Biengi ganopi na jimo teso and I'm yonas kis mugo get them on the arc. What was that? What uh, what was that last part? Was that Korean? Uh, 
I'm just out of hand. I'm just so I need your hair. I need you, girl. Where? I thought he was going to rap. But that's good. It's good showing us his moves. Model? Like role model idol group or what kind of group do you want to become? We have lots of idols, especially in Korea. Uh, personally, I like G Dragon. Yeah, Again, no idea ground. who these are. <laughs> the common ground. As a group, we look up to BTS. Uh, for me, because I I'm not into K-pop, I'm sorry. Dean, and yeah, I really like uh, GOT7. My favorite member there is the leader, JB. What's the next goal for you guys? Do you want to expand your presence in the world? Or like, do you want to um, take on another challenge like acting and all that kind of stuff? What's your next goal? Well, with their talent, I think they could conquer the world. But for now, we're focused on um, promoting our music all over to, all over the Philippines, and hopefully, uh, if we're given the chance to perform internationally or globally, uh, we would be honored and grateful to do so. We will always, always. He's very eloquent, Sejun. Good performances, better than yesterday, and uh, we will always be humble, and uh, we will always. Nice to always hear. Nice to hear. What you have done for us. And uh, we love you so much. I hope you keep on supporting us. We will go. Never realize how much sacrifice they had to endure, the gruesome training, the hard work. It's crazy. 30 times a day for each song and dance. Is that correct? That's every single day. The dedication they must have. And a song has to be rehearsed a thousand times before they perform it but like they say practice makes perfect and I love their mantra practice will never betray you which is very 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 true they deserve to be where they are today in fact if you ask me they deserve even more imagine three to four years of training without earning anything that's tough for them and for their respective families, I'm sure. I know I won't be able to go through what they did. I also think their families deserve a round of applause for supporting these guys' dreams. They deserve a big big hand. And to the fans out there, I think it is great that you are supporting a group that values hard work and humility, not a group that concentrates on vanity. With that, I'd like to thank you all once again for keeping me company as I watch this Korean TV interview of SV19. And thank you very much for the wonderful and appreciative comments that you guys always leave me at the comment section. They are truly, truly encouraging. Before I end this video, I am reminding everyone to subscribe to my channel, click on the notification bell, watch and comment on my videos here in MaxQ. Stay safe, happy and healthy everyone. Take care.